Created. New right now, a voice and a theory we haven't heard yet about the mysterious mansion deaths haunting a Valley CEO. It's already one year ago tomorrow when Rebecca Zahau's body was found. The former girlfriend of Scottsdale businessman Jonah Shacknai. That came two days after the death of Shacknai's six-year-old son. ABC 15's Adam Slinger joins us now. And Adam, who's this uh, new person stepping out of the shadows to talk about this? Max's mom is telling her story in next month's issue of Phoenix Magazine. She says her first wish would be to have her son back. Her second wish would be to have Rebecca back so she could ask her what happened. Dina Shacknai tells Phoenix Magazine after her son's death, she isolated herself, never wanting to leave her Paradise Valley home. She even talks about Rebecca Zahau and how Rebecca had to follow certain rules when it came to Max. She wasn't allowed to go to functions at Max's school. She wasn't allowed to take Max across state lines or to the airport. And she wasn't allowed to babysit him by herself while others of how family members were present. The article also illustrates what Dina did just before Max passed away, dressing him in his favorite soccer uniform one last time. It says, she pulled the shorts over his legs, tied his cleats, and used some gel to style his hair in the faux hawk he liked so much. She fell asleep next to him, and in the morning, for one dreamlike split second, she forgot he'd ever been hurt. You'll remember investigators call Max's death an accident. They believe Max died after he fell over the railing, hitting the chandelier and then the floor. Dina says that doesn't sound like her son, telling the magazine... He was not a daredevil. And Rebecca Zahau's death was ruled a suicide. As for Jonah Shacknai, he has yet to speak publicly, uh, publicly about this incident. You can read more about this in the magazine, which hits newsstands on.